This Saturday night, the live casino hotel, Maryland, Hanover, Maryland. A terrific card, Jetter Promotions, a big 11 fight card will be headlined by the two men that I have on the line right now. They will contest for the WBC Silver Super Bantamweight Championship. Elijah Pierce and Darren Williams. Hey guys, how you doing tonight? What's going on, man? Yeah, feeling excellent. Ready to go. I'm going to start with you, Elijah. Tell us how you are. We're about four days away from this fight. Uh, give us your uh, quick thoughts on, on take, facing Darren Williams this Saturday night. Uh, to be honest, you know, I'm not much of a, a, a internet talker. You know, I prefer my conversations face to face. So, you know, I, I'm going I'm to save a little bit for the way in. But I will say, you know, I, I've seen him. Um, you know, he's a good, he's a good fighter. Never overlooked none of my opponents. Never have, never will. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been on a way higher ceiling than him. And I don't think that, that he's going to expect what I'm bringing or be prepared for what I'm bringing, you know. You know, it's just, like I said, there's levels. And that all I can really say right now, I mean, I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm on weight. That he suspected I was going to struggle to make weight or whatever. But what little does – I've been fighting up my whole career. Like, I've never actually had the knowledge of that stuff. I've never done that. I've always just fought up because – I had the talent, and I've been knocking out guys in heavier weights for, for for years now. So I don't, you know, know less of an issue. Hey, Darren, the same question to you. How are you feeling about four days out? If you want to respond to anything that Elijah said. I must talk to man. I just hope that he's ready to come to the fight. Uh, I'm ready. You know, that's just fight week. Um, all the talking is really done. It's just left up for that's boogie, man. You know what I'm saying? Like all, all the talking is really like it's it's no more talk. And wants to prepare for this, and we four days out, with three days and a half out. You know what I'm saying? I'm rock and roll, man. Question for Darren. He's uh he's originally from Oklahoma, and I believe Elijah's living in Atlanta. Coming to Maryland. Uh, you know, I know a, a place that you know very well and kind of home to you. Uh, what are your thoughts of that? Um, I, I, I've always been an on the road fighter, you know, as well. Um, um, this is it, it's it's just it's a fight, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I play no advantage on either side, both guys got to get in the ring, me and him. So, that's to us getting in the ring and us fighting you know like the crowd don't really mean nothing at all you know i don't know how he feel but the crowd really don't mean nothing to me man it's just all about the, you know other than a referee but us lacing up the gloves and us fighting man that's really out of where we at we could be outside you know what i'm saying like that's just what it is elijah you've been, you've been on quite a roll you've uh Won a whole bunch of fights in a row, beat guys with good records. Darren also coming in to, to the ring with, with a good record. Uh, do you feel that this is a fight that kind of maybe will get you over the hump to the next level? You know, getting these TV fights? And, you know, I asked Darren the same question. But, Elijah, you first. Uh, absolutely. I mean, that's really what I've been waiting Continue to knock guys out in their hometowns, you know what I'm saying? And being in somebody else's being being away from home, you know what I'm saying? I, I've always, I've always like, you know, I like shutting people's mouths. You know, people, they like to cheer against me and talk against me. And everybody a dick ride they hometown fighter. But like I said, they don't ever face me none because I out what they got to say after that. They be, they hush mouth. So, I mean, end of the day, and you know, like I said, I'm, I'm ready for for the next level. I've been ready for the next level. You know, I've been on the same tiers that are that every 
everybody is loving. You know, the Shakurs, the, the Devin Hay, all those, I, I was at the trials with those guys. I was right neck and neck with those guys fighting split. I'm supposed to be on, on that level. The only reason that I'm, I'm not currently is because uh, a lot of in my, my personal life and things like that, which is no excuse, you know, that, but this is boxing. Sometimes everybody don't have the, the easiest throw, but, you know, at the end of the day, I clack through in, in, insurmountable odds to be here. And ain't nobody going to, nobody. Darren, um, again, Elijah, he's built up a little bit of a reputation, knocking some guys out, knocking some good fighters out. Is this the fight that's going to make the boxing world take notice of you on Saturday night with a big victory? I hope. Um, oh, I hope so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that for me or for him? That was for, uh, that was for Darren. Oh, um, excuse me. Like, no, you're straight. Like I was saying, um, cause, you know, like we all know how this boxing game go. Um, as a, as my been having a layoff, but that's not due to me. You know, fighters, we always want to get in the ring. So um, that other side of these other opponents and, you know, these promoters that don't want to match up as like me, you know. So um, I think that this fight is going to take me wherever it takes. You know, I'm going to just keep doing my, my thing. Stay in the gym 24-7 and, you know, I'm all, I've always been up there. I've worked with the top guys. I've been in Vegas and worked Work with the top guys and out there. Been to Arizona, work and as well as my hometown. We got some of the best fighters down here that I, I always work with and came up with. So, so I said before, man, I'm just ready for the fight, man. Ready to get in there on Saturday. I really don't, don't really have too much. You know, I can tell this is going to be. A even, great even speaking fight. of that, speaking of that too, work with, with for this camp. You know what I'm saying? I know he mentioned in his interview uh, with DC Mike. He he sparred with uh, Antonio Rosso and all them guys or whatever. Like I said, you know, I didn't, I didn't score, you know what I'm saying, and done very well. I didn't got work. I didn't beat Antonio Russell in the amateurs. All of that, like, at the end of the day, it, it, it doesn't, it don't mean nothing to me. It don't phase me at all. I've been for several world champions, you know what I'm saying. I've been in the ring with yeah, Joseph well. Diaz, all them guys. You know, today, nobody can get in the ring and fight for him. He, he's going against the Wolf, Elijah Pierre, to face me at the end of the day. And he's going to have to step up and, and you know what I'm saying, be ready. You know what I'm saying? It's all, at the end of the day, after the fight, it's all respect, all all love, you know what I'm saying, goal. But before then, at the end of the day, I'm trying to take his fucking head off. He ain't got no reason with me, with nobody of my caliber. And it's a disrespect to me for him to even to think so. At the end of the day, I'm going to whoop that ass. And that's what I got to do to get to I mean, take care of my children. Like I said before, I ain't with all the talking. You know, we, we lace these gloves up and we must have the name dropping and who, who I work with and all that. All that's irrelevant to me. You know what I'm saying? Drop. Everybody that's been in the ring with me know what's up. You know, and come Saturday, man, he's just himself. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. Quick, quick question for Elijah. You just recently signed with Jetter Promotions. How does it feel to uh, you know, have a promotional backing now, especially going into this very important fight Saturday night at Live Casino Hotel, Maryland, in Hanover, Maryland, as you take on Darren Williams for the WBC Silver Super Bantamweight title? Hey, man, like I said, uh, Tony, you know, he, he he's he's very excited for uh, he's He's pretty much you know, stated that he would like for me to be his premier fighter more. So he he's he's ready to uh, to go all in with me. You know, he believes in my talent. He believes in um, you know, we, we have a you know, we we've already established a pretty. So it's going to be uh, uh, exciting to see what's in store for the future after I you know win this WBC belt. Um. Darren, you, you hear, you know, the promoter, Tony, who I know you've probably known a long time. He already, he sounds yeah. like he really has plans for Elijah. You know, are, are you here on Saturday to, to, to mess him 
as uh, you know, if you curse, curse a little bit, I'll curse a little bit. To mess some shit up for him. <laughs> I mean, I'm always trying to throw a monkey wrench in a nigga plan, man. I uh, I think everybody, you know, look at look at his, his record and everybody just got, you know, all the all stacked up on him. Like, I'm on man. Like, like for me to really say, man, because you know, I'm, I'm just trying to hurry up and get to this fight, man. I like I said, you know, like I already know that people like I like he said he don't, don't think I'm on the level as him, like. Like shit going one and out the other, but I mean, it, it's up for us to get in the ring and you know, let's boogie. I done did too many interviews and you know, all the talking and stuff. That's done, man. Jetta, <laughs> you got you work with him. Ask Jetta, he knows what's up with me. Jetta already right know. I mean, the, his job is to get fighters like us, you know what I'm saying? So, the same conversations that he had with him that he had with me, you know what I'm saying? So, it was like. That's even here for that. Man, I'm still got to get in that ring in. I doubt that, but, you know, we're props in. Hey, hey listen. Gotta, gotta, you know, you know, hey. they got to talk their shit. They got to make them respect it. But like I said, I mean, like I said I'm before, not we, on, you know, we on a whole I'm nother not level. One of them. I don't he, ain't, he ain't on my level. He never will be on my level. You know what I'm saying? And it's all going to be, I mean, I'm just as excited as he is, believe that. Like, I can't, can't fucking wait. I've been counting down this shit. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get to Baltimore. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. I got shit. This is, up. This, is what, this is what I like. When this interview started, huh? you, guys are, you guys are very respectful. In fact, Elijah was said he was sorry that he talked over Darren. But now as the interview is going on, we're about at 12 minutes. I can I, I, I can feel it starting to build a little bit. We're only on Tuesday. Like I said before, like I don't really it's, got no sense. It's, 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 you know, it's all business. You know what I'm saying? It's all business. Like, like yeah, you I mean, said, I like... will. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> just, I was just in front of what you said. Yeah, it's like you said, it's business. He, he knows it's the yeah. same sentiment he got. I'm, you know, straight, straight yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, that's... Any fight, whether it's me against anybody else, I don't overlook nobody. You know what I'm saying? Man, respect man. But, but at the end of the day, some shit that I got to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. So it's like we just got to go. Saying at the end of the day, it's all respect. We in this. We in a sport. It's a hurt business. So at the end of the day, it's you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just straight up business. And after the fight, man, you know when my hand raised, we can respect you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. I ain't got no hard right, feelings well, to the boy. He just ain't. I'm going to ask you guys each one more question. It's the same question. And we'll start with uh, Darren. You guys are next to each other. You know, Not next to each other in the room, but next to each other on the screen. <laughs> but if you guys were standing next to each other, what one last comment would you, if you were able to look at Elijah right now in the eye, give, give him Give them something to think about before you guys see each other at the weigh-in on Friday. One last comment, and then I'll give Elijah hit, hit, hit the floor to the same question. I mean, the only thing I got is left to set up in that ring and go to war. Like, yeah, I'm not one of your other opponents. I'm pretty sure you're not none of we know We know what's up stake right here. So let's be ready. Let's get the fans what they want to see. Let's damn sure come with mine. I'm trying to take that strap back home with me. I I know you're trying to take that strap back home with you, too. But let's just put it all on the line. Point blank, period. We got to fight. Elijah, what's your one last uh, thing you want to say to Darren before you guys look each other in the eye on Friday at the weigh-in? Yeah, like I said, I was gonna, I'm, I'm planning to kind of say, say, you know, say more so, you know, the day of the weigh-in when I can't see him in person. But I will this moment right here, like, like I said, this is some on time. So, and, and I got a lot. I have my livelihood at stake. I just hope that you're prepared to die in that motherfucker. Cause it comes, I'm putting it all on the line. If I got, you know, like I said, this is this is a hurt business. This, it's already today. But like I said, if he's trying to accomplish a goal. I'm trying to accomplish. 
months ago. I got to take care of my girl, my family. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a lot riding on my shoulder. So I'm willing to kill. And he going to have to go, go in there, go through the wolves then to get there. And I don't know if he ready, ready for that. I don't, I don't think a lot of people ready for that. Because I've been, <laughs> I, like I said, I didn't been in there with the best. You know what I'm saying? I deserve to be on top. I've been one of the best before. I've been and I was in Thailand's town before I even turned pro, and I still never even hit my ceiling. I got a lot, lot to be showcased, and best believe I cannot wait to put him on Saturday, and then everybody gonna give me the respect I deserve moving forward in the in pound division, because this, this is only my, this is only just scratching the surface for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking to to go the distance for sure for sure and, and you know what i'm saying it just starts like i said you know bring your, your a game do it you know i know and which i, I believe you will and you, we're gonna get it on well, there we have it that's the last word i did, did a good 16 minutes here guys i, I think mean, this, shit, this shit gonna be fireworks man you know what i'm saying like this shit gonna be like saturday can't come no faster, man. Like, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love shit like this. Take that shit 10 times more or better. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you got two fights, well, that yeah. just want the same thing. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't expect this fight to be nothing less than action packed from round one to whatever round they and, and that's just what it is. There you have it, fans. Get your tickets this Saturday night. Elijah Pierce, Dan Williams. The WBC Silver Super Bantamweight title headlines a big bite of action. Jenner Promotions at the Live Casino Hotel, Maryland, in Hanover, Maryland. Guys, if this is any indication of what Saturday's be like, it's gonna be like uh, like uh, Darren.